And uh, with my parents, we had a shop. Like we were selling things from the house. Eh? We had a shop. Um, yeah, we had a shop. And even then, it never used to make sense because we can be selling potatoes, uh, selling onions, and then we don't buy from the, from our shop. We'll buy our stock. Yeah? The stock that we order from our shop, we order the stock for our family. And uh, we used to come to the potatoes. You know, I, I, and that exercise becomes so normal. It's like how many hands, and uh, when you cut it up, I can know how many when it's small potato, the size is according to the size, or when it's big potato. And, and that's a normal thing we do at all. And then it's, and my father would say, okay, you still, you know, we used to have the place for the bread. Eh? You said, or oh, get the wrap, and wrap it and write the dates. So I, you know, we do that like growing up. I assumed everybody does that. So when I have my family, I continue to do that. And my husband struggled, it's the other way around for you too, because he comes and be that disciplined one. But for my, and then I got married to somebody who come from the village, and everything is uh, in abundance, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I grew up in that kind of thing, it's like more Indian thinking, yeah? And you know, we used to understand why I'm doing all that. I'll buy the salala fish, $2 one bottle. Mm -hmm. And that salala fish, mm -hmm. one, two. Mm -hmm. So one, I yes. cut it. If I, if I can cut it into three, then it's two. And mm -hmm. I'll like, grab two, 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 mm -hmm. put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And Monday, up to, and then they'll be telling me, why well, you have to cut that? Mm -hmm. I said, it's just me and you. So how many pieces you can leave? Just two. And when I start having children, I continue with the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing, you share with me, like what we're saying. Eh? We would like them to change their mind, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't know to change, it. How, how do they change? And to change it to what? Because they've never heard and uh, they've never been exposed eh, to that. And that's for you ladies that are, are joining us this morning. You know, like, um, the thing that I like about her, because she comes and share the things I do. Because sometimes when it comes from, from us, it's sort of like weird because we are eat okay, and it's better coming from you because you are married to a Muslim. So, indirectly speaking, if we are looking, okay, that's the way they live their life. So, this there must be something good in it, you know. And if you are listening this morning, uh, these are the little tips. You know, sometimes we we think, oh, I can afford a bag of potatoes. I don't need to label them, or I can afford uh, a bag of chicken. I don't need to cut them up and label, because for me, when I shop before, now I'm. I can say also because some some of my family like, but I still cut up the, the chicken, and uh, say for my team or you know, for the company that I work for, uh, we may be feeding about thirty seven to the most. Thirty seven, we use two chicken, and that two chicken I'll cut it up in medium pieces. So like I'll get it cut up in the more, um, or if I buy buy cut up, and that two chicken fit the whole thirty seven. Uh, yeah, and sometimes can be spill over. And I already do prepare for my grandchildren with their names written on it, you know? So what we are trying to say, we are not here to boss your lives or to tell you, what are they talking about? Well, these are tips. And uh, you'll always regret to say, I can afford it. Because in, you know, in my heart, sometimes when I got off my parents' home and, uh, you know, work was good and you're earning good money, the tendency to, to go that way. To like, no, I don't need to do these things. I can afford my life. But somehow, after two to three days, there's this guilty feeling. You know, you don't feel that? I feel so guilty. In my heart, I always feel, I can save $2, I can save $3, I can save $4. And then I go back to it. And I'm still doing it today. And I'm going teaching my grandchildren, you know, to go through the same. So these are tips, like what I said. And she's a businesswoman, uh, married to a Muslim, have got the business running. Uh, one of their daughters is studying in Australia, and one has started practical today uh, from uni. And what we are trying to say, with that successful <coughs> life, they're still pouring the oil on the oil bottle cap to fry the onions. So, because I believe in every little thing you do, you can still save the dollars. Even though you have the dollars, you can still save the dollars. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share more on that? Uh,